Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to analyze a question about structural analysis. Uh, this frame will be analyzed due to slope deflection method. And uh, let's solve the question. First, I'm going to uh, find the fixed end moment. Fixed end moment for AB. Fixed end moments for AB that will be PL over 8. P times L12 over 8, that will be minus 15. And fixed end moment for BA, that will be 10, 12, 8, that will be 15. It's because of the direction of the fixed end moment. Fixed end moment we will just write for the BC because there is no any moment for uh, CB uh, because it's going to be used the modified formula because of the, the pin end. Yeah, pin end. So now for BC, that will be 2 times 15 square over 8, that will be minus 56.25 kilofeet. So now let's find the moments. I'm going to write the moments here. Moment for AB, that will be 2EI over. 12 times times 2 theta a plus theta b and minus 3 delta over l and minus 15 as fixed and moment for moment b a 2 e i over 12 times 2 theta b minus sorry, plus theta a and minus 3 delta over l of course, plus 15. Yeah, 15 as fixed end moments. For moment BC, there will be 3EI over 15, right? Times theta B and minus delta over L. And of course, 56.25. So you know that for the support B, that will be moment will be zero total moment at b over zero so moment b a plus moment b c equal to zero when i 2 e i over 12 times 2 theta b minus uh, plus 15 plus 15 and plus 2EI, 2EI times theta B over 15 minus 56, 56.25 equal to zero. From this equation, yeah, from this equation, I'm going to obtain theta B as uh, 77.343 over EI. This is now sorry one second. Yeah, this is this will be my theta b, and when I rewrite in its place, yeah, when I rewrite in its place, you know I don't ha I don't calculate theta a, and of course deltas. So the moment at, at a b it will be minus. 2.11 feet and for BA that will be 40.8 key feet and for BC is equal to of course the negative of 48 sorry keeps oh uh, shit sorry this will be keeps fit I guess now it is okay. I find the moments. Now let's try to find the shears. And for the shear, I'm going to make the calculation here. This is my column. This is A, this is B. This is B, B. This is B, A, right? I have a 10 kilometers, 10 chips here. 6, 6. When I write the moment at A is equal to 0, it will be 
plus VB times 12 minus 40.8 and of course minus 10 times 6 equal to 0 and I will obtain as VB 8.22 and when I take the total FY is equal to 0 due to that equation uh, I will take 10 minus 8.22 and <clears throat> VA will be equal to 1.77 it's because of the calculator values okay so now I find the forces for shear and now I'm going to do the same for the beam the beam part second member also we can call the B and C I have a 30 30 as uh, force here right? 2 times 15 Okay, this is 30 I convert the distributed load to point load one second I'm going to write it better 30 and I have a moment here also 40.8 and sorry that will be a, of course moment here and also moment here 2.11 and 50.8 as the moment here I forgot to write them and now let's go on the total moment at B is equal to 0 so that will be 40.8 okay plus vc times 15 and minus minus 30 times 7.5 equal to zero so i will obtain vc here as 12.28 from the total fy is equal to zero when i write 30 minus 12.28 and minus vb equal to zero i'm going to obtain vb as 17.72 k okay so so let's draw the shear shear and also the moment diagrams i'm going to draw them here but i have to see the forces one second i actually can draw like that Here, I'm going to draw here. Uh, I'm going to uh, actually take them for two parts to understand well. I'm going to, uh, you can see, draw as horizontal column. I'm going to draw the column as horizontal. And this is my column. This is A to B. If you want, you can draw also like that. It's okay. You can uh, draw the moments and shear diagrams separately or you can draw them together. It's okay. It doesn't make any thing different. So for now, what I have as a, a VA, VA my shear, 1, 1, 1 to 77, right? 1 to 77, I have shear, it goes up and I will continue with 1.77 I will when I faced with the force as 10 I will go down as 10 value I'm going to subtract from the 10 and the value will be 8 point yeah 8.22 okay and I will come to stop here I have a v at VB I have I have a force right I have force at 8.22 now you can see is 8.22 I came and closed it okay and for this one I'm going to draw the moment diagram this is A this is B I have a moment as 2.11 okay I'm going to raise up raise but this amount of area, this is 6, this is also 6, as the 
the distance I'm going to raise up with this amount of area until the force acts okay when I raised up with this area this amount of area that will comes to 8.55 okay now that's okay this amount of area it shows this and now I'm going to go down you know because it changed the area the the, the region so I'm going to go down at the same this, this amount of area when I goes down goes down it will come and start with 40.8 this is going to be my moments okay now when I draw the second part when I draw the second part when I draw the second part that will be something like that now at B what is at B? 8.22 right? 8.22 but what is the total force normally at B? 8.22 plus 17.72 right? So I will go up at 17.72. I won't cal take calcul into calculation, sorry. I'm going to make more practice to draw better. And now this is going to be raised with 17.72. Okay. And now you know that there is a distributed load. If distributed load x, I'm going to decrease as triangular. So when I decrease like that, I will obtain I will obtain 12.28. This is my shear, okay? This is my shear. And now I'm going to sorry, I'm going to draw the moment diagram. This distance 8.86. This point is this distance 8.4. Sorry, 6.14. Okay. At uh, this amount of area, normally I have a moment here. You can see 40.8. Okay. 40.8. I'm going to raise. I'm going to raise at this amount of area. When I raise. I'm sorry, when I raise that will be something like that, I guess. Okay, that will be something like that. And this point will be 37, 37.7. And I will go down at this amount of area and uh, that will be closed at C. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, actually it's going to be something like that. One second, I'm going to draw the better. Yeah, that will be closed. It will be closed at this point. Because there is not any moment at C, so the moment will be zero at point C. Now we draw the we solve the question. We draw the shear and the moment diagrams. The question is that actually. Uh, if you like the videos and uh, please subscribe and share and please comment. I'm going to read all your comments. Uh, if I did anything wrong, uh, please uh, aware of me. Okay. Thank you so much for watching me. See you for the next question.